Our friends at Luther Family Ford providing this a view here in the FM area. An area cloud uh, is a little on the breezy side, but a beautiful evening. Take a look at this. We want to remind you what that drought index looked like before we hit the weekend as we take a look at that drought index where you see the deep red shades near Lake Sakakawea. That was a downgrade really to exceptional drought there. Just ridiculously dry and all the reds extreme drought conditions. Take a look at the radar estimates of rainfall this weekend and where you see the yellows, that's an inch or better of rain. Oranges to reds, two to five inches of rain estimated right there where they needed it most. And these little yellow strips here around an inch or so, we see some spotty places that got that here in the Red River Valley, but otherwise we were fairly dry as far as rainfall goes. And more good news for the drought, there's still more precipitation in the forecast. The areas I've shaded in green have the best chance at seeing some significant moisture. And the European model showing it more to the south along the international border and the greens there indicative of one inch or better of rainfall potential as we go through midweek and Thursday in particular. The American model much more robust showing almost all of North Dakota having a good chance at measurable rain with even heavier showers in central Minnesota. We'll keep you advised as to which uh, forecast scenario may take shape as we get closer to Thursday, but that is in the forecast. More beneficial rain. 85 in the uh, Hector area. Right now it's 88 at Moorhead's airport. It's dry. Dew points are back down in the basement near 40 degrees. That means we'll cool off quickly once these winds taper off. Still gusting to nearly 40 miles per hour. 80 to 90 degrees across the Southern Valley for most areas, and it's near 80 in Langdon at this hour. You're the cool spot in the Devil's Lake area at this hour. Some severe weather flashing here in the Central Plains uh, all the way down into the Southern Plains of Texas. We have a a little bit of smattering of shower activity elsewhere in the Mississippi River Valley. As we zoom in on western Kansas, we do have some severe thunderstorm warnings. Uh, a few tornado warnings have popped up as well as some flash flood warnings for us to weather much quieter tonight. But we're watching this huge swirl right up here. You see that counterclockwise spinning green blob from Saskatoon to Calgary. That's a low pressure system. It's going to be throwing unsettled weather our way tonight. An isolated thunder shower can't be ruled out by Towner County up towards the Cavalier and Pemita uh, areas as well. Now, as we go through the evening, the wind after sunset subsides. It gets quiet. Temperatures fall quickly as we have that dry air in place. It'll be just a little bit breezy, but by tomorrow morning right away, we'll have temperatures 55 to 60 degrees and the wind will already be getting ready to open up shop. That's right. Gusts in the afternoon. Watch this. We get the bright yellows out. We're talking upwards of 50 miles per hour in the James River Valley. Those gusty strong winds will spread their way eastward as we go through the afternoon. Temperatures up north as a little cool front burps its way out of Canada. We're going to bring temperatures down into the 60s for most of our northern counties. We'll have a shot at some mid 70s here in the south. And in fact, 60 in the morning here in Fargo, ramping it up, but it will be gusty across the region. In fact, Here's your forecast for your hometown. Windy for all, scattered showers up north, cooler near 60 to 70 there, 70 to 80 in the south. Beautiful wave clouds sent here by Tammy from the Otter Tail County area. Thanks for uploading your photo to valleynewslive.com. Cooler still on Wednesday late, a chance of some showers. That'll mix with and change to a chance of some full, fl don't go there. Uh, some precipitation that might not be liquid in form. Then we start a warming, warming <clears throat> trend for the weekend with a chance of thunder. Again, Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Be, be, never mind. Back to you. You're going to get hurt by all those flakes flying. If I have to drag my snowblower out, I'm going to come and tear your yard up. I'll tell you, that's what I'm thinking. It won't be good.